Wow, you are handsome, buddy. Check you out. The best couch at Spadefoot Toad that I've seen in Colorado. That thing is just absurdly, absurdly beautiful. I look down, there's a little trail. Follow it up, and there's this guy. Hello there, everybody. Today, we are in the grasslands of southeastern Colorado once again. Uh, this is one of my favorite places in the world, so I'm always happy to come back here to look for snakes. Coincidentally, a lot of my favorite snakes in the world also exist here. So, um, this is going to be a really fun night. It is really, really humid, which is a sentence I never thought I would say about this place. But um, it's feeling great. Um, not a lot of cloud cover going on, but um, it's in the mid-80s right now. It's just beautiful right now. So, um, I'm here going to cruise a beautiful section of road out here in the grasslands hopefully turn up some snakes um, as always the real target and the real prize for the night is a speckled king snake um, that's going to be further north from here so uh, after the sun goes down we'll beat it up there and start looking for those guys um, but until then massasaugas uh, western hognose snakes anything else that we can see is always a treasure so um, we're going to start road cruising here and hopefully start turning some snakes up shortly all right so here's our first snake of the night this is a eastern yellow-bellied racer um, as per usual, this guy's pretty grumpy. Um, however, he is beautiful. We found one of these down here um, a few weeks ago with Stephen and Noah um, that looked pretty similar, and we were all commenting on how um, how neat it looked. And this one looks pretty similar, so um, that might be more of a common phenotype down here. I'm not sure, um, but beautiful snake out here on these beautiful roads out here. Um, just hanging out as you can see very very grumpy check out the speckling on the sides there That's definitely not a common uh, Characteristic as far as I have seen but um, first snake of the night not I don't know two minutes since I filmed the intro And we've got our our first snake in hand so hopefully that's a, a good omen But either way I'm just going to release this snake out into the grasslands where it came from and we're going to keep moving All right, you go on your way buddy boy. We'll see you later <laughs> He's so well behaved. I love it. I think that man is about to get real grumpy with us. Wow, you are handsome, buddy. Check you out. That is a big, big bull snake. He's about to get very upset with us. But wow, what a big snake that is. Oh, hey, buddy. Hi. Look at you, you are beautiful. That's one of the better bull snakes I've seen in a while. They're always pretty good down here. But man, look at that thing. As promised. <laughs> wow, that is a beautiful bull. And he's grumpy, oh boy. All right, come on buddy, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Oh man, these guys are a delight. One of my favorite snakes in the world right here. A big bull snake. Um, he's handsome enough that I think I am obligated to take some photos. So I'm going to do that and then we will be right back to speak about him a little more. Alright, well, here's this beautiful man again. Um, unfortunately, once these guys get grumpy, um, it is real difficult to photograph them. Um, because as soon as you get close, they either strike or they want to just have an ugly face. So. Um, it's all right. I'm plenty happy just to be lucky enough to encounter a snake this beautiful. I mean, this patterning over here um, on the right side of the snake right now is just absolutely stunning. Um, almost looks a little bit more like a Sonoran gopher on the back half than it does a bull, but absolutely stunning snake. Um, and he's real big and real healthy, too. When I first saw him, I was astounded. One of the larger, heavier-bodied snakes that I've cruised down here, so... Um, I'm going to escort him off the road. Um, I'm going to get him way back in there to ensure that he's not going to have another run-in with a person for a while because um, this is such a special snake. Anytime um, Pituofas get big like this, it's always special for me. So I'm going to go release him. We're going to keep on moving. Another few minutes up the road, and here's a baby bull snake. Uh, this is probably, I don't know, last year, the year before is young. Super grouchy. Also... <laughs> yeah, hi, buddy. I see ya. He's a little different looking. He's not as handsome as that last one was, but definitely not a bad looking snake. A lot of weird, like, red tones going on with him. Um, at first, I thought he was either a hognose or a mossasaga just because he's so plump. 
For a snake that size, he is real, real chunky. Here you can also see um, that this uh, hissing business is largely just a big bluff. If he wanted to bite me, he definitely could bite me, but um, it's basically just a big show. Um, I think he's probably more worried about the camera than he is about me, but um, beautiful little snake. He was headed this way, so we're gonna go release him over there and keep on moving. See you later, kiddo. You don't have to be cranky, you can keep moving. First one of these for the night. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow, you are a handsome little Virtus. Look at you. Hang on, sit still. Why have why has every Virtus I've seen in the last week not wanted to sit still? Oh, this guy's moving fast. Just proof that uh, rattlesnakes don't want to mess with you. <laughs> that is a really, really good-looking individual, though, um, while he does want to just skedaddle away from me. And I am happy to let him do that. Got another one shortly up the road. And that's another bull snake and another really nice looking one at that. Wow, these guys are gorgeous out here. Yeah, I know, I know you're grumpy. These guys are awesome. Three of these tonight so far. When I first saw him, I thought it was a Massasauga for a split second, but not that lucky. Either way, another beautiful little bull snake getting all puffed up on me. Just gonna release him back into the Great Plains and keep on road cruising. First snake of the night here comes uh, a little late. It's around 10 o'clock right now, but this is a glossy snake. Same species as the one that we saw in Four Corners, but it is a different subspecies. This is the Kansas glossy snake. It's a pretty small one. Um, they get a lot bigger than this. Um, that one is, I don't know, maybe a hand long, maybe a little less, but either way, good to see snakes are moving, even though if it is in uh, real, real low numbers right now. All right, well, sometimes when you're road cruising, you just got to switch spots and see what happens. Um, we just did that, and looks like we're uh, doing pretty well for ourselves after that. Here's another um, Plains Garter Snake. We saw a lot of these down here in past weeks. Um, super common snake down here. Um, this is actually a snake that I am helping out with a research project with, so the, uh, the data... The GPS data from this snake may end up in a paper. But either way, super, super common Colorado snake. There you can see him imitating the wind there. <laughs> How funny is that? He thinks he's hiding. <laughs> Anyways, just going to move this guy across the road and keep on moving. Our next find of the night is possibly the best couches spade foot toad that I've seen in Colorado. That thing is just absurdly, absurdly beautiful. Usually there's a lot of black on these guys, but with this one, it's just all greens and yellows. That's absolutely amazing. Um, I thought it was a Woodhouse's toad, and now I'm really, really glad I stopped, because that thing is stunning. Um, as you can probably imagine, I'm going to take a little time to photograph this guy, and then we're going to release him and keep moving. Good morning from Baca County, Colorado. Um, it is going to be real hot today. It is currently 90 degrees on the nose, and we have to go hiking to look for narrow mouth toads. I love life listing because it sucks, but it's still fun, you know? Anyways, um, we are at our spot for the day. Um, we're going to move back up towards town later to road cruise, but um, I figured I would get out here and use my sabbatical from work to the best, um, and we're going to go try and find some toads. So, so without any further ado, I'm going to make my way down into our canyon and we we're gonna start looking well I was walking along I looked down there's a little trail follow it up and there's this guy actually that's probably a female coming out to lay her eggs yeah I'm not gonna bother you sweetheart not too too big on this one but it is plenty handsome happy to see it here <laughs> she's growing a little wary as you can see there trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to bother her because she's got business going on here, um, but I am going to take a few photos. Just keep moving through this amazing, amazing habitat back through here. Um, no narrow mouth toads yet. Um, honestly, the weather and the fact that there's been massive flash floods doesn't bode well for us, but we're going to keep trying. All right, well, um, the rest of the day was pretty slow. I mostly spent it uh, doing recon on some species that I want to look for a little further south in here. Then I went back to the hotel room, washed up, and now we were back out at our roads where we were last night. Um, the temps are dropping fast again. It's below 80. It was, you know, around 95 about an hour ago. So um, weather's not looking too, too promising, but we're going to be road cruising tonight. Same roads we were on yesterday, same targets and everything. So let's get this started. This is going to be a prairie rattlesnake. Nothing unusual there. What's up, buddy? These guys are probably going to 
be our most encountered snake of the trip. Right now we are at four, I think. I moved one off the road earlier uh, today that had been hit by a car. I didn't want to show that. He was still alive. He might make it, but I just didn't want to add stress to his life by, uh, you know, taking photos and whatnot. So I'm um, just going to move this guy off the road and keep on moving. All right, first snake of the night. Um, I moved further south from where I normally cruise for king snakes just because the temperature just dropped so fast and it paid off um it feels warmer where i'm at right now so i might end up staying down here um there should be kings down here um at least enough of them for you know a puncher's chance there's definitely more uh long nose and other stuff this is a glossy snake though these guys are super 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 common this guy is being relatively cooperative usually they're a nightmare but um, I'm just going to release this guy. Um, we are in the, the low grasslands here, so I'm going to move down into... See? There's glossy snake them. I'm going to move down into the canyons here, and we're going to keep on moving. On this super dark pavement is our second snake of the night. This is a little bull snake. When I first saw this fellow's patterning, I thought it was a long-nosed snake, and I got real excited. Um, but still a great snake. Uh, these little guys are awesome. I think these are our most encountered snake of this trip so far which is pretty cool. It's not often that these guys are the most common, so I'm um, just going to move him off the road. Next snake of the night is yet another glossy snake. This one is pretty big, a pretty good looking snake. Um, usually they're not this attractive. Um, a lot of cool colorations and stuff going on him. Stunning snake. Um, it looked really, really big in the road. I also really, really love how dark this road is because snakes just pop on it. It's absolutely wonderful. But snakes are moving. I was starting to get a little worried when we were up top, but um, now it seems like they're moving. If in short numbers, at least they are moving, um, which is always a good thing to see. So um, I'm just going to let this big handsome, I'm assuming it's a girl, move across the road and get out of here and we will keep on moving and let her enjoy the rest of her night. This is going to be the third time I've said this tonight, but I think this may end up being our most commonly encountered snake of this trip. This is yet another glossy snake. I moved up to where it's about, oh, I don't know, 65 degrees or so, and here's another one. Um, there's a lot of cars moving through here, so I'm going to make this pretty quick. I might, I don't know, it's warmer down south, but there are king snakes up north, which makes me want to go back up north. I'm going to figure out whether I'm going to go up north and look for kings for a little while or if I'm going to stick down here where it's warmer. But before that, I'm going to release this beautiful man and we're going to keep on moving. Today, we are in some of the farthest northern reaches of Colorado looking for some amazing frogs that are extraordinarily difficult to look for. Today, we are looking for wood frogs, which are a species that... Uh, uh, we, we will talk about them if we find one. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail now, but they're real, real tricky here in Colorado. Um, we are way up in the mountains right now. It's pretty cool. Not going to get too, too warm today. So um, we had some unfortunate detours earlier that um, kept us from finding them or from looking for them um, in a different place, but I came to a spot that, that may have them. I'm not sure if they're even here, but we're going to go out. There's a little creek nearby that I'm going to walk down to, and we are going to begin looking. So we're here at our first stop of the day. I've got some frogs here. They're not wood frogs, but they are pretty cool. These guys are boreal chorus frogs. Here's one right there you can see pretty clearly. Um, the ones up here are super handsome um, for chorus frogs. Nope, but not going to let me... But yeah, just amazing habitat. It's littered with frogs. There's a a leopard frog right there who's probably gonna dart as soon as I get close. Man, that's a really, really nice leopard frog right there. Probably gonna be a lot of these guys and a lot of the chorus frogs today, but if we do happen to run into wood frog, it would be absolutely incredible. All right, well, I'm working my way through this wet meadow here, and in this pool are what just might be the best looking leopard frogs that I have ever seen. They're absurdly beautiful here, as green as any frog that I have ever seen. Alright, so right there is a little leopard frog. God, they make this tough, don't they? After some trying, I got a hand on one of these leopard frogs. He is so stunningly beautiful. That thing, that's one of the best frogs I've ever seen. I've got him by the back legs. This isn't hurting him, but um, he is secure. Absolutely amazing, 
amazing looking frog. That thing is unreal how just green it is. That is like, oh my goodness. Absolutely in love with it up here. If we can turn up some wood frogs, it'll be absolutely incredible. But um, I'm going to log this guy on Hurt Mapper, um, release him, and keep moving. There's some good habitat that I've been really working to get to. The, the river's just too deep for me to cross. So um, I'm going to finish up with this guy, and then we're trying to get across the river over this way so that we can go um, find some of these. There's like abundant wet meadows back there, so hopefully we'll be back there shortly. All right, see you, buddy. Thank you for being uh, somewhat cooperative with me. All righty, so we have moved to this beautiful wet meadow here. Hunter's here, Remy's here, and Hunter looked down and found what is, as many of you know, my favorite thing on planet Earth. A tiger salamander. These guys out here are awesome. He's probably, this is probably somewhere around 9,000 feet. Ah! This beautiful salamander was just hanging out. Um, you, it's kind of hard to show because it just looks like a big meadow. But once you get out here, it's full of water. And right over there, this beautiful guy was hanging out. Um, as you get in higher elevation, uh, the patterns kind of fade. And this one has basically no patterning, which is cool. Um, a lot similar to the ones that we see close to home in that regard, but awesome to see them. Um, Hunter and Remy found a wood frog earlier, which is super tight, so um, we're probably going to move and start looking for more of those because I still need to see one, so I'm going to release this guy and we're going to go do that. I'm just going to release this guy here. Um, I would like photos, but the lighting here is atrocious, and um, these guys are probably the most common amphibians here, so just a few quick cell shots for me, and then we are going to keep on moving. Um, goals here. These guys want to see a leopard frog and also found a wood frog earlier, which is, you know, my biggest goal. So um, we're hoping to uh, swap finds here and end up all of us happy. All right, so we're still working our way through these fens right here. Um, this is one that we came to earlier where we saw some pretty large leopard frogs. And in Remy's hand here is possibly the best boreal chorus frog of all time. These guys are absolutely stunning up here. Most of them are a regular brown color like we see just about everywhere else. But, you know, as you can see, that one is lime, lime green. Um, absolutely stunning in these little fens here. Um, we got to kind of start hustling for wood frogs here because uh, it is 4 o'clock and the sun goes down about 8.30 here. But um, we are going to photograph this guy just because he is so exceptional and then we're going to keep on moving. 